five words that would summarize being a small business owner. Stress, pride, fear, grateful, success. Hometown Trolley is located 90 miles north of Green Bay. It's in the Northwoods of Wisconsin, literally in the middle of nowhere. We manufacture trolley buses that are reminiscent of the turn of the century. It is a really happy, colorful product. It's like Santa's workshop almost. You know, we're building a fun toy in the respects that it's not like the average white bus. It's a, it's a colorful trolley. We incorporate all of the modern technologies that you would find in any city bus. So it really is a vintage trolley by look, but underneath it is a full modern transit vehicle. The whole concept of, of, a, of a manufacturing business is, is hard in general. She's the only woman-owned transit vehicle manufacturer in the country. And for her to be able to do that as a single mother raising her children was very impressive to me. I um, divorced at age 28 with a two-year-old and a seven-year-old in the middle of nowhere um, and having to make a business that was really small and, and um, undeveloped. I had to make sure that I survived every day to support my, my children. I gambled and put everything on the line, um, got an SBA loan and borrowed money from whoever I could, including my mother, um, and believed that we had a really good product and it would pay off. Our sales doubled and then doubled and then doubled again. And then this year, we are already locked in for 25 million. So to go from a 2 million to a 25 million company in just like five years, I never thought that we would ever be at the volume that we're at. I've been around Hometown Trolley my entire life. My mom's journey teaches me to uh, just kind of make the atmosphere happy for everyone. Running a small business takes a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work. Christina is always on the floor, she's always hands on. People can see that and they can respect that. I mean, when she started, she was out here doing it, doing some wiring, welding on them, helping paint. Even as little kids, I remember coming in and we were masking the trolleys off in the paint booth with her. She doesn't look at herself as the boss. She's at work every day, she's trying to make a living just like everyone else is. I think that's earned a lot of respect in the company and that's how she has been able to make this business successful. I feel really fulfilled with um, knowing that my business is providing jobs for people here. In this small community, 60 employees is, is a lot of families. She had to deal with so many obstacles, being in a, a male dominant market. When you're in a situation where you're dealing with um, sexual harassment, you really have to be strong, get through it, plan it out, and, and figure out your way out of that so that you're in your own control. But if you believe in yourself and you're strong, you can do it and you can stand on your own and not have to be dependent on anyone that abuses you. My advice to small business owners, innovation, innovation, innovation. You have to stay current in the market. I don't think it takes like a genius. It just takes someone that's really passionate about what they want to do. If you believe in yourself and you're strong, you can stand on your own. I think that that's the biggest lesson I've learned is probably believing in myself, laying it out in front of me in stages and then making sure it, it gets executed. And then you look back and you know, without even really thinking, how did I get here? You, you did it.